It was a place where I could learn to be a scientist of the new generation. One of the things they keep saying about when you decide on what grad school you're going to go to is fit. I really enjoyed working with my advisor. This is an incredibly rich environment. Graduate alumni act as mentors and as role models. And when I ask most professors what they value most, they usually say the students first. I loved what I saw here. And the university, of course, is a beautiful place. I'd have to say the two years I spent at Princeton were, were two of the best years of my life. Realizing that we're all part of this sort of continuum of life. The role of graduate students in the Princeton community has always been uh, indispensable. Great research universities couldn't exist without graduate students, a fact Princetonians seem to recognize soon after the college's creation, when students like James Madison in 1772 stayed on after completing an undergraduate degree to take special study with the president. By 1900, Andrew Fleming West was named as the first dean of the graduate school and used his considerable influence to fundraise and build the House of Knowledge, Formally dedicated on October 22, 1913, the Graduate College embodied West's vision of a community of scholars and was known as the crown in Princeton's educational system for the advancement of pure learning. West reveled in the fact that graduate education would be a reward and a challenge. And why should not the graduate student, no matter how closely he specializes, be given every chance for fellowship with students in all fields of liberal study? The student we are describing is capable of meeting with many minds and getting on with them all. Many minds across many disciplines, through many life stages, with many achievements, each with a unique story. Our graduate alumni represent these stories. Our Princeton Tigers represent many minds of many stripes. Hear them roar. Graduate school is tough, but the truth of the matter is, it's likely to be the very best years of your life. When I think about the long tunnel that you're in, you know, post generals as you're pursuing your doctorate, there are many points along that path where one uh, is perhaps tempted to be discouraged or tempted to despair. There are traps, if you will, I mean, th things that occur to you along the way that might appear to be obstacles, that might appear to be unyielding contradictions, and, and it's easy at that time uh, to simply fold your tent walk away. You simply cannot give in to that. If you are patient enough, confident enough, strong enough to stay and maintain a certain kind of mental alertness, eventually alternate paths, other ways of approaching a problem um, will present themselves to you. Now that I've come back and I've given back and I've volunteered and I've met wonderful people and I think very differently about things that weren't so positive experiences while I was on campus. Come back, give back, and let the university embrace you in a way that you didn't feel embraced while you were a graduate student. Yeah, I think the progress of the graduate school here has been uh, spectacular. As I said, the the role of graduate students in the Princeton community has always been uh, indispensable. But when I was an undergraduate uh, here, you really felt the effects of uh, the decision that had been made back in Woodrow Wilson's administration to build the graduate school out on the edge of the, the campus. Graduate students were teaching very heavy loads. Uh, they were worried about uh, their funding and they didn't feel as integrated into the core of the university. When I came back, uh, partly through improvements that the university had made in its graduate support, and partly through the development of institutions like the University Center for Human Values and other kinds of scholarly fora that welcomed graduate students in, there was a much more inclusive feeling about the uh, role of the graduate school, the role of graduate students in the university. Overall, felt very connected to the, to the rest of the community in ways that were um, really quite added to the experience in a way that when you did live off campus um, you didn't I didn't feel separate or apart from 
say the two years I spent at Princeton were, were two of the best years of my life. My friends that I met here were just, you know, remarkable. After the two years of doing that, there was like a void of not having these folks around. So I, I really enjoyed my experience here. I mean, I, I think in part that was because the Woodrow Wilson School really created an environment that um, kind of fostered those sorts of relationships. It was, it was an excellent time. So my research is really my research and not my advisor's research. Um, so this feels like being on a playground for ideas. Um, that's what I value academically and I also value that there are so many different inspiring people on this campus. I fell in love with Princeton when I was an undergraduate but now as a graduate student I'm even more in love with Princeton and I think I see it from a different perspective. Every department is world class in their research and uh, it's great to be in a place where of like-minded people but also of people who really uh, care about what they do and they're really good with what they do. It was extremely important to me to uh, be part of the kind of community, that uh, scholarly community that Princeton represents. I was giving a presentation as an undergraduate um, in a research seminar class and there were some Princeton professors who were there. They saw the presentation, I guess they liked it, and uh, we talked and what they said about Princeton really drew me to the school, that it was a place where I could learn to be a scientist of the new generation, where I could learn computation and traditional genetics and really apply that to be successful. At the end of the day, this university supports graduate students like wholeheartedly, right? When it comes to the resources, everything that's at our fingertips, there's no way anybody could argue that they don't. The experience that I got out of Princeton is pretty hard to describe in detail because it, it just is a wonderful experience. I hope that uh, graduates today have the same enthusiasm that was prevalent in my day. Graduate education has established, in the words of Dean Hugh Stott Taylor in 1955, a permanent relationship to learning that will enable you, actually be essential for you, to face challenges and embrace opportunities in the U.S. and abroad across long careers in rapidly changing times. One of the things we care about in general at Princeton is uh, being part of a community that has its heart here on this campus, uh, but that is, transcends boundaries of geography and time. And we feel that strongly about our graduate alumni, just as we do with regard to our undergraduate alumni. Now, if you were paying careful attention, the 25th reunion class has already gone by. This is the Association of Princeton Graduate Alumni. So there's a famous speech that Adlai Stevenson gave uh, here called The Educated Citizen in 1954. The thesis of that speech was more or less, um, you have been given much and therefore much will be demanded of you. When you leave Fitz Randolph Gate, you have an obligation to serve the country, to serve the world. That feeling of being compelled to leave here and serve others um, I think is common among many Princetonians. Since the graduate school centennial in 2000, the desire to get Princeton's 25,000 graduate alums even more engaged has borne wonderful fruit. This place thrives on traditions that are embraced, invented and reinvented by our uh, alumni and bringing the graduate alumni of this university together in this powerful way is a way for Princeton University to say to them, we want you to be owning those traditions and reinventing them. You can start late and make your Princeton friends because when I started volunteering, I basically knew nobody except the people who I had been in architecture school with. And now I would say my closest friends are all Princetonians and it's all friends who I've made doing my volunteer work here. I felt like I had to give back in some respect. Um, and so being part of the APGA has allowed me to kind of stay connected to the campus, but also feel like I'm contributing in some, in some small way uh, to making this a better place. The 
they that help the university most if they're an engineer in uh, California or there's, I don't know, a teacher in Florida or whatever, is to do the best they can do in uh, where they are in the communities which they are and to be looked upon as people that really strengthen their communities. That is by far the most important dividend that a Princeton can receive. Have fun in life and incorporate the life of the mind into the life that is social and that is human and make it be a full life that is uh, all it can be and not a narrow life um, that, that just is not what Princeton's about. You know, one of the wonderful things that we've seen about these uh, different kinds of conferences that uh, Princeton has run over the last few years is that they provide our alumni with uh, different ways to think about their connections to the university and often catalyze uh, further connections uh, after the conference. And right now we're looking to establish a lot of different pathways through which graduate alumni can do that. We've had some very successful reunions in departments that allow graduate alumni to network with uh, people who share common interests uh, but have come through this place at uh, different generations. And my hope would be that as alumni connect to one another, reconnect to the university and their departments at this conference, they identify more pathways through which they can return to Princeton in the years ahead. I've met a lot of people who are just so driven, so motivated. We felt like we were very much part of a community. The, the faculty were very open to allowing students to work on what they were interested in. To make sure that you take advantage of being part of this great community and all that it has to offer. And I love all of my new relationships of my Princeton family. It's really a joy to know that they succeed in going and help the world and the country the way that they do. Showing up on campus and sometimes sitting in on a class or seminar, it's like being young again.